Okay, so since the last video, I added uh, the other side of the arm and then I rotated the gloves just a little bit and lined them up again uh, to make this shape right here. So you can see the arms in place and now the gloves are in place. Sorry, I had to cut that video short. I had an announcement coming over the intercom for uh, the teachers. So the next thing I need to do is uh, make the feet and legs. So in order to do that, I'm going to drag out the half sphere and this is pretty simple. I just stretch the half sphere out just a little bit. And then I am going to use the cylinder. So with the cylinder and the half sphere, I'm going to grab this corner and then just shrink it down. Oops. Grab the corner, hold down shift. Oh, hold down shift, not caps locks. Shift, shrink that down. I uh, use the alignment tool. So click on this, click on this ring, and then align it. And I probably don't want it exactly at the center on this end. Shift, use your arrow keys, just kind of shift it back. And then however tall you want your minion, go ahead and just stretch that cylinder up until it's the height that you would like it. Go ahead and select the cylinder and I'm going to make it yellow and then make the shoe uh, let's go ahead and make it black this time so now I have his shoe and his uh, ankle there and then I'm going to select that again Whoops. rotate select it and then copy it paste it and then move that over Oops, I pasted one too many, I guess. Delete that. Now I'm going to move the minion over the shoes or move the shoes underneath the minion. So let me go ahead and do that. So let me move the, min the shoes into place here. Or you know what? Let's shift the minion up. So this is 47 height. So I want to shift the minion so that he's a Above the shoes but that the shoes still go in him uh, so let's go ahead and shift him up so where he's about that was 47 so I probably want this about 30 and then after he's about 30 off the ground so I just selected all of the minion here by clicking and dragging and selecting everything so I shifted him up now I move the shoes underneath him so that's it and then my minion is finished and you guys can put more finishing touches on your minion if you want to try making a front pocket you can do that uh, if not uh, go ahead and submit the minion this way and I will give you credit for it thank you and enjoy your final project where you design your own design and figure out what you would like to do uh, for Tinkercad and I will end this video with me trying to finish this up so hold down control, shift this down, so I lifted the minion up too much. And there, that's good. And this is done. I'm going to call this minion done. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the videos, and uh, I hope to see you guys in class. See you later.